Hi there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to calculate the reliability of a system with redundancy. The questions covered in this video relate to problems 17.9 and 17.12 in your text. We'll start with problem 17.9. Here, we're asked to determine the reliability that bank loans will be processed accurately if each of the five clerks shown in the chart has the reliability shown. A diagram like this shows clerks which could also be considered components in any other type of system, in both series and with redundancy, in parallel. Now, even though in this case, all of the clerks or components have equal reliability, we just can't go and multiply all of the reliabilities together. There's a process that we have to follow. The first step is to take the two clerks that are in series inside the box and multiply those to come up with the reliability of that series. We can say that these two clerks comprise a subsystem in series. So if we take 0.95 times 0.95, that will result in a series reliability of those two clerks of 0.9025 or 90.25%. Now we have a system that looks like we have three components or clerks in parallel rather than in series. So what we have to do is compress or combine all of those into one overall reliability calculation. And to do that, we basically can determine what the unreliable portion of each redundant subsystem. So for example, the top component or clerk at 95% reliability can be said to be 5% unreliable. The same thing for the clerk at the bottom of the box. The combination of the two clerks in series has a reliability of 0.9025 or 0.0975 or 9.75% unreliability. So what we do is we take and multiply each of those and then subtract from one. So the overall reliability of the parallel system inside the box is one minus, and open your brackets, 0.05 times 0.0975 times 0.05. And that will be 0.9998 or 99.8%. Now our system looks like this, where we're left with two components in series, one at 99.98% reliability and one at 95% reliability. This is now a very simple system in series where to determine the final reliability, we multiply those two together. So 99.98% times 95% is an overall reliability of 94.98%. And that was established in three steps. First, by combining the two in series within the box, then compressing all of the components in parallel into a final series, which is then combined. And now on to problem 17.12. This one is actually a continuation of problem 17.11 that was covered in another video which calculates the reliability of systems in series. In this question, redundancy is added to the system. With two subsystems that are in series that are parallel to each other, we can do this in three steps. The first is to take each of the systems in series and compress them or combine them, just like we did in problem 9.11. So on the top part of the parallel redundant system, we'll take 0.99 times 0.98 times 0.9, and that gives a reliability of 87.32%. And we'll do the same for the bottom part of the redundant system. Now we're left with two subsystems in parallel. And then to determine the reliability of the system, we take one minus the unreliable portion of each of those subsystems multiplied together. So one minus, one minus 87.32% times one minus 87.32% results in an overall system reliability of 98.39%. For requirement B, in comparison to problem 1711, this redundant system increased reliability from 87.32% to 98.39%, which is about a 10% increase in reliability. And that's quite substantial. And so that's how you determine the reliability of redundant parallel systems.